Hey, it's Ellie Mae with Silhouette Secrets Plus, and I'm just a little bit excited. So, if you did not check out my previous video that I put up earlier today, I will link that in the description below, but it was all about all of the issues. While there are issues and we are hit or miss with the website going down and coming back up, I want to say that there are little things that I am finding that are improving, and that's why I'm here with this video, because I was looking for a file to for the Silhouette Secrets newsletter. Every month I give away a free file. I was looking for it in my Silhouette library. It is not there. Frustrating, yes. But I went into the Silhouette Design Store. I was gonna try some things, see if I could get it to download to my library. That didn't work. However, what I did find is that you can now search your downloads. This is big because for weeks, we have not been able to search in all of our download files that we have had for Silhouette. So you are going to log in to the silhouettedesignstore.com. If you cannot log in or you have issues with your account and cannot get into it, you will need to contact Silhouette Support. I can't help you with that. They are the only ones that can help you. If you can log in, this is what you're going to see under your account. On the left-hand side is a list of options. Go down to downloads, and I have a couple things to show you here, so hang tight with me. Go down to your downloads, click on downloads. The first thing I noticed which upset me was that it's in no order, okay? So I knew I had purchased files after this arrow file, which is going to be the free for August file. Um, for the newsletter. I'll put that link in the description below to sign up for the Silhouette Secrets newsletter. I knew I have purchased files after this. There is no order. This is like random here. The files that I had purchased after that arrow are showing clear down here, including the free one for this week. It has no rhyme or reason, okay? So that was annoying. But then I noticed up here at the top, there is now a search your designs. This is big for me. At least I have 15,000, almost 16,000 files. This is big. So the first thing I tried, I tried to search by the design number. Right now, when I record this video, that does not work. It did not work. There is an issue. I know there was an issue with design numbers from the old system to the new system. If you look in your library, let's just go out here. Um, I'm not sure I can actually, I can show you. Let me search for grunge. The files that come into the Silhouette Library in this interim with the migration are now showing with a 9,000 in front of the design number. This is one reason that it's not showing up in a search if it is in your library. So in your Silhouette Studio Library, if you search by the design number for a particular file, try the 9,000 in front of it. You can see here when I click on this file, the, the design numbers are different. This is part of the problem with the thumbnails not matching the actual design. This is also part of the problem of searching by design number. So that's an extra tidbit that I hadn't planned to show you. If you come back over here, this arrow file is the one that I was trying to search for. The number is 55174. If I type that in here, it did not work before. I'm gonna click search, nothing shows up, okay? That's okay. I typed in arrow and I hit enter or search again. And then it brought up files. Hold on, magic. It's going to depend on how fast the Silhouette Design Store is working. And your internet connection plays a factor into it as well but mainly right now it's the Silhouette Design Store. Look at that, look at that. Okay, I know I'm excited, <laughs> more excited than I should be, but this is day 70 and we have had so many problems, but look, I have files that I can search. The biggest thing here is I would get to page five, which I reported, I would get to page five of my downloads and I couldn't go any farther. So there was no way I could even access. It was impossible to access my almost 16,000 files through the design store. So this search is awesome. 
Now, while I have you here, I want to show you two other places that you can download direct because those have also been added. So the first one, let's go back here to my account. I'm going to click on downloads again. That was the fastest way for me to get back to the home page. When you see your designs here, if you see them right here, all you have to do is click on the thumbnail under the download section. It will automatically come in. That was the video I released earlier. I'm not going to save this. You can rename this right now and look here. Even the file name is wrong. I told you the file name is 55174. This number here is not right. So I would highly recommend if you do direct download that you rename your files when you download those. Save those to an outside location. Do not import those into your Silhouette library. There are just issues. There's no guarantee they will be there and any file you save or import into the Silhouette library counts against your cloud storage. Once all of this is fixed, it will someday be fixed. I, I know it, I know it deep down, someday. I don't know when that is though. When it is fixed, it will all even itself out. Things will come back to normal. Even if it is a new normal, but I, I feel like it is going to get there. We just have to wait for that new day. <laughs> I don't even know what to say. I'm so excited about the search because I was getting ready to send another strongly worded message. Um, so I'm not going to save that. Now, there's another way that has been added since I recorded my very first video. If I come back to my account, if I come over here, those little tabs at the top, if you notice, they are very, very sensitive. If you message, if you move over top of them, they automatically activate. If I come over here to my orders, and this is what triggered me to start looking into this a little bit more. It's gonna take a minute. So I have ordered a few things during this transition. Um, I, this is how I knew the test wasn't working. So you can now click on view order and it's going to bring up, so I did the hibiscus flowers. I just ordered this yesterday. It is not in my library. It will not sync. Even though my library says it is synced, it is not there. I will look into that later. However, there is now a download button on your orders. Now, you cannot yet download the full order. So if I come back out here, let's go to this one of six files. And it'll open here in just a second. And here is a look at the files I ordered in this one. So there are multiple files, but currently I can print my order, but I do not have a download for the entire order like we used to. Cross my fingers that it will be an option in the future. That would be awesome. But at least you only have to load one page if you have an order of multiple files that can be downloaded. Now, on camera, I will go back here. Let me look up some older orders. I'm not sure that they're even in the system. So what you're seeing is my actual order history. Let's go back to before the migration, which started on 522. So here you can see there's a difference here. Before the migration, they all, the numbers all show like, or in the middle, I guess it's, it changes in the middle. This is how you can notice that some things are just off. It shows as 18.000 instead of just a basic number. So uh, something in the coding, something that's been changed along the way. So if I come back here, I can do this. So 517, that was before the migration started. Migration started on 522. If I click on the view order, Let's see what happens. It shows the files and it does have the download. So it's coming, it's slow, but I want to say educated guests here because I am not a programmer, I am not a web designer, I have, I have no idea what is going on on the back end with the entire website. I, I, that's just not my expertise. The Silhouette Design Store was down over the weekend and again on Monday night. 
they are trying to fix things in the backside. If you see an error with the design store and you cannot access it, if you test it on a mobile device or another web browser and you end up with the same error, chances are everyone is experiencing the same thing. Hopefully that is a good thing and that something good and new will come from that. So I just wanted to pop on really quick because I was excited as I was trying to compose my newsletter that comes out every Friday with the new free file for August and I found these things. So now I can search all of my files and find them to be able to direct download those and still use those. So maybe, just maybe, this will help more of you who cannot access your designs through the library, but you know which files that you want to search for or look at. If you have any questions, please let, please let me know in the comments below. Make sure to check out the information in the description below for additional tips and information as well. Thanks for joining me and have a great day.